<laughs> Hi, my name's Ned. And I'm Hannah. And this is The Making Life. First of all, this project is super exciting to us and really probably more exciting to you, but I'm excited about it too and I had a little hand in it, but we went to a local auction literally right down the street, two houses down from our house. We came, I came home from work and there was like cars parked everywhere and there's auction signs. We had no idea there was going to be an auction just a couple houses down. And so we went to the auction and we bought a handful of different furniture pieces. We mm -hmm. bought a a mirror, we bought a uh, an end table and a wine cabinet. We're not really <laughs> we don't wine use it for drinkers, wine. <laughs> but it's really pretty matching to the end table sort of thing. So they're neat pieces. We we're able to use those two things in our house. We sold the mirror for a profit and then we the last thing that we bought was a an old school desk. And this old school desk was made of oak. It was really beat up looking and right away you thought about upcycling it. And so really, that's where you came in. I, I have done upcycling projects in the past, but it's not my favorite thing. I don't have the patience for it. I, I enjoy the end product, but I don't really <laughs> always enjoy the process. Or I don't have the vision, I guess. But what did you want to do with this? So um, we, we bought this for five or six dollars. I can't remember which, but anyway, not very much. And I knew I wanted to do something with it because I really like the idea of taking something that may have been thrown away or discarded or never used again and turn it into something that someone will find useful or beautiful. So I knew I wanted to do something with it and um, I, I brought it home and I said, Ned, I have this project. I have something I want to do. And he was like, Ugh, another project that you brought home. <laughs> that we might not ever get to. Um, it's like bringing home a, <laughs> it's like like a, a wild like dog. Like a stray puppy. <laughs> a stray dog. I had a vision for this. I knew I wanted to do something. So I, I started sanding it down. So at least Ned knew I was taking the initiative on it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do something with this. I took it outside and started sanding it down. And then I called my sister-in-law because she is much better at this kind of project. She does much more of this upcycling or like turning something into something new. Uh, so I was like, what should I do with it? I have an idea. I know I wanted to be two-tone. I knew I wanted the um, part of it to be, you know, wood, um, not painted. And I was like, what do you think? And she said, why don't you do uh, black and, and then walnut stain for the wood? And at first I thought, I, I don't really love that. But the more I thought about it, I looked up pictures and I thought, you know what, that could look really beautiful. So this is how we turned uh, that idea into our finished product. So, so what are you doing right now? Like, like, what was your first, how did you start this product? What did you do? Tell us the whole process. So the first thing that I did was get the electric sander out because it already had a finish on it from before and it took some elbow grease to get it off. So how much sanding did you do? So <laughs> much sanding. I would say that is the majority it of the never project. ended. Is sanding a lot, yeah. a lot of sanding. Um, for the parts that have chalk paint, I have heard that you don't need to sand as much. It's part of the beauty of chalk paint, but I pretty much just sanded all of it. Yeah. So, but the initial sanding took all had to take off the uh, the finish <laughs> completely, like completely yeah. finish. I mean, in fact, I think our three year old helped at one yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. So, but yeah, so lots of lots of sanding to get the finish, the actual finish off, to get it down to bare wood. So that the wood would yeah. take paint and take stain. So yeah, especially for the stain part, yeah. it had to be completely removed. So to get ready for painting, then then what did you do? Um, so I also I used chalk paint for the paint. So after sanding it all down again and again, um, I I mixed up the the chalk paint that we used. I think it's called Waverly um, by Plaid. I think is the person, the group that makes it. But um, you have to water it down just a little bit because it's a little bit too thick. So I did that first and then I applied it with a sponge brush. You could also use a chalk paint brush, which I didn't want to invest in because I didn't know if I would be doing this kind of project a lot. So I just used a foam brush. Yeah. 
pretty much the rest of the video has either audio introductions to each step or audio in that clip itself. So I guess enjoy the rest of the video. So this is the third day of the project. Um, yesterday I lightly sanded this down and put a second coat of the chalk paint. But today I decided to go ahead and do a third coat. So I'm sanding it down slightly again and then I'm going to repaint it. I had some drips from yesterday and just some places where it wasn't covered as well as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to do my third coat of paint and then the next step will be staining the seat. Okay, I just put on the third coat of paint and I'm going to go ahead and take off my tape and see if there is a lot of touch up that needs to be done. I think it's looking pretty good. Maybe just a couple places to touch up, but I'm really liking how this is looking. So we have some old dark walnut stain. Hopefully it's still good. And how old is it? It's unknown age. Sounds like a bad joke. Yeah, it's old and it's probably gone through some extreme temperatures, which is not good for it, but I have a feeling it might be all right. We're just gonna give it a shot. It looks and smells like stain. No weird particles in it. Stir it up a little bit. You think it's gonna ruin our furniture piece? I don't think so. Do you have a sponge? No, a I don't. Clean sponge applicator? No. Hey, oh, this project's ruined. I brought in my stain expert, Ned, because he has more experience with staining than I do. And he found this sponge. Yeah, the staining pad is like a sponge that has like a very soft terry, terry cloth, soft outside. Never used it before, but I'm going to give it a shot here and see how it finishes. Make sure I don't think there's any too many snags on here so it doesn't catch it and make too many fuzzies. But it should be fine. So, I did sand it a lot of times. Yes. Probably need two coats here, I would say. One thing I will do is I'm gonna get some gloves. So we maybe should have thought about this first. Definitely should have thought about this first. I should have taped off some of this so it wouldn't get finished all over our chalk paint. Day 757 of this project and we're going to remove it. It's so non-toxic, toxic. So, we used some of the sanding sponges for the stain. And I found these at Harbor Freight and they were much cheaper, so let's see how terrible they are or how good they are, hopefully good. Let's see how that goes. Oh, look, ooh. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. <laughs> and what are we using? So this is polycrylic water-based polyurethane. Just your regular minwax water-based.
So that's pretty much all of the video footage that we have for this project. It was a very enjoyable project, took a long time. In fact, you might even notice that in the beginning of the video, you're wearing shorts, yeah. and by the end, I think you're wearing like, like a, a, coat. a full snowsuit. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, overall, this is one of the things that, that I find really rewarding whenever you can take a piece of furniture that maybe would have been thrown in the trash and upcycle it, reuse it, repurpose it, and find basically find new life for that piece of furniture. So what did you think about this project? I was thrilled with how it turned out. I mean, I wasn't sure. It's not something that I had a lot of experience working on, but I just, it was a really fun process. It was really fun to see it coming together. And each step I thought, oh, this is really turning out great. So I was really excited about it. Um, it did take a really long time. Uh, to finish, which I don't think it would have to. The only thing oh. is you have to wait for uh, your paint to dry for 24 hours before you can apply a new coat. So yeah. um, some things just took time because of that. And then also ugh, life just took time. Yeah. So yeah, having a family and having, having kids running around doing things like that, yeah. it just ultimately things take longer whenever you yeah. have kids and yeah. have a family. But yeah. overall, I think that the, the end product super super happy with yeah actual time working on it not that long really just finding the yeah. time to work on it took some time yeah so other than that uh, excellent had a lot of fun and we hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy these kind of videos please click the like and the subscribe button and if, if possible leave us a comment too yeah we'd love that we'd love to hear about your opinions or possibly see some of the projects that you have upcycled or repurposed so thank you for watching and take care good night <laughs>